Hey, welcome, welcome back. back. I'm Adam. I'm Brad. And we are the Wall Twins. If this is your first time here with us, though, welcome. welcome. Consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything we do no matter where we're doing it. Today we're slaying it at what Brett calls Poolville. Poolville. Also known as the Backyard Diner. So happy to be back here doing it one more time. Yep. And really, really happy to do this one. And even more happy and excited to announce the launch of our first cookbook which will be dropping January of 2023 but it is available for pre-order right now on amazon.com yeah it is go check out amazon this is so cool the epic outdoor griddle cookbook that in just fact, sounds so cool that in, it sounds epic so type in it epic outdoor griddle cookbook we pop right up on the top one what's well, because it is the only one with right. that name where our faces are on this thing our names what? are on the cover I mean this is so exciting we're truly honored blessed for sure and excited to share uh, 100 of our favorite cooks with you, all the recipes, step-by-step -step how to do them, right. and you can get it all at one and place. even some tips and tricks to griddle cooking, yep. and we are so honored to get to share it with you to work with the Cuarto Group, the first of hopefully many cookbooks yes. to come. We love getting to share this, and now, people ask us all the time for the recipes, there will be a one-stop shop placed for uh, 100 of our favorite recipes exactly. to share with you. But aside from that one, this one will not be in here because we just thought of this two days ago yeah. and we were so Adam excited. Did, yeah. I did. I freaked out. I'm like, Brett, we're doing poutine anytime, anywhere, any place. And you've got me there. When he said poutine on a burger, I didn't even have. He said poutine. I was like, yeah, yeah. Poutine smash burger. And I know it's kind of overkill. We do smash burgers all the time. I didn't care. That's I'm like, we're doing this one. Brett, get to the grocery so people know what goes in this one. Here we go. Uh, up front and center, we got the 80 20 uh, ground beef meatballs that we will be smashing. We have got this Canadian cheese, <laughs> cheese curds. These are from Wisconsin. We're uh, throwing down these uh, uh, Idaho shoestring crispy fries. We got this Anjou gravy. We did not have brown gravy. We thought right. we did. So we are actually going to turn it into a gravy by using flour. And we're going to be putting them on these Arnold potato buns. That is the truth. So uh, fortunately with this Aju, there is a special recipe that, well, that you just add flour to thicken it up. It turns it into a gravy, which is what we want. But first we're gonna throw down the fries, get those cooked up on the yep. griddle. Then we're just going to do our smash burgers. And now we're not gonna do anything special with the cheese curds, just yep. put them on there. Cause you want them to, Maybe they'll melt just slightly, they don't, they, they, but they're not designed to melt per se. Right, but exactly, yeah. but with the hot gravy on top and those hot burgers, they'll go a little bit. So we'll toast the buns, we'll, we'll fry up the fries, and let's get this cook on, man. We'll Here show we you go. how we do a very savory smash burger. So these are from Frozen. Careful opening your bag, otherwise, that's what happens. All right, did not want to use get that much because we're just gonna do enough for the burgers, and but some also snack and fries. All right, so we're we're not gonna add oil or anything to these, so we're just gonna let these kind of cook up, spread them out so they're an even layer See? on the griddle. So we're just gonna cook these up. These are gonna take a good 10, 15 minutes, I think, Brett. So we're just letting yep. the fries cook up and we'll uh, to the next step. Here we go. These are done. It was really simple. All we did, it was a good 10, 15 minutes yep. on here and we knew it would. We pulled them too early and they still have that frozen flavor. These are crispy all the way through. They are still sizzling. They're good to go. But look, you can see they're nice and crispy. So they're good to go. So we don't need a whole lot for the actual burger, but Griffin had requested some snacking. Snack and some fries. Some snack and fries. So there we go, Brett, we're on to phase number two. Yep, the smashy smash, my job. Yep. All right, now we're gonna toast the buns. All right, this is about 30 seconds <laughs> into these. Those are toasted, ready to go. We sometimes times just like to get both sides toasted. All right, Brett, that's all we need. There we go. All right, and go ahead, Brett, and pull the meat over. Here we go for the final phase. Well, I guess the final phase is dressing these. This thing has been on for a while. It is hot. And those things <laughs> are gonna get married. <laughs> yes, they are. They're gonna get introduced go. to one another. Salt and peppers Hold here, and they're in effect. This is the only way you season the, the ceramic griddle. This, this, yeah, this is <laughs> the only seasoning this griddle needs. Now it seems like I'm putting a lot, but we say this every time. We only salt and pepper one side, so that's right. Adam, I think it's time to lay it, the smash it down. <laughs> yep, let's do it. Yeah, all time. right, here we go. <laughs> now again, we hold this for 10 to 12 seconds, and it's a good press so we can get that Maillard reaction. So go ahead. There you go. 
Yep. All right, so while Brett's got that one, let me go ahead and... Brett reminds me, because if we come up too short, we're actually gonna leave some of the meat on the griddle, which and is some of the Yeah, some of the crust. Oh, which I just did right there, even as Bless we you. were speaking it. Oh, look at that. Look at <laughs> it that. flipped itself. <laughs> it did, and you can see where I left some. You wanna take over? You better believe it, brother. Okay, this is where I'm used to cheesing, but we are not going to cheese because the curds are doing the cheesing for us. Brother, that's a good one right there. <laughs> Look at that one. Excellent. But this just goes to show for all the hundreds and hundreds of smash burgers we've done, we still don't get it perfect, but guess what? The flavor is still gonna be there. This one's not gonna have much of my art at all because it's nope, not very it's hot it's up It's down there. in the corner where it doesn't get very hot. There we go. We've got a little but, bit, yep, there we but go. it'll be okay. All right, at this point, Brett, I think we're ready for some B-roll. Let's go ahead and show how we get this poutine burger built. Let's do this. And there, there they, they are, are in all, all their, their glory. glory. Gloves on type situation they, for this. They are, and they've been sitting just a little bit because we had to um, cool the camera. Camera situation, the camera overheated, so we had to cool it down. But that's okay, because we let these cool down just a bit, and which means they're ready. Brett, I've yes. been sitting here eyeballing this and smelling it. Now, the cheese curds only melted a little bit, and the intent was not to melt them, just to get them a little softer. a little softer. bit of a cheese pull right yeah, there. Yeah, that's what right. I'm saying, a little bit. So, Brett. Like we say, though, it can look amazing. This looks absolutely amazing. It looks exactly like I hoped it would, if I'm yes. being honest. <laughs> like we say, it can smell amazing. Oh, can I get a smell yeah? Smell yeah, you can, because it smells exactly like I hoped it would. <laughs> <laughs> but if this doesn't taste amazing, then this is all, all for, for not. not. Cheers, I'll eat to that. My brother. My right brother. there, we yep. got everything. My brother. Mm. <laughs> oh my <laughs> God. Stop. Oh. Oh my gosh. The cheese curds are so soft. Oh, oh my, my word. It just is like melty, gooey, ooey. The depth of flavor. So many layers. This is this is like a this is like a a roast beef dinner in oh. a burger form. No, it's it's like that French mm. dip. Oh yeah. The au jus gravy. Cannon. Griff, good? Bruh. I just got the crispy fry. I was gonna say, that's the one thing that I, I didn't even really pay attention to in the bite, because I got I got a big bite of cheese curd, the gravy, with all the flavor, and then the burger, salt and pepper to perfection. This is a banger. <sighs> How is it, Cannon? Really good. Agreed. I'm just sitting here savoring that one. That is, I am so happy. It's like a Salisbury steak and gravy. And there you go, that's <laughs> like what it is, so Salisbury good. steak and gravy on a bun with fries, with, with cheese, cheese curds. curds. So good. You have to try this one. Yeah. You have to, right, oh Kim, right Griff? Did you get a chance to taste, taste yeah. it? Is it good? So good? Oh my gosh. All right, you still got a mouthful of food there. So good. You do have to try this. If you like this cook and give you another idea of something that you can do on your griddle, make sure and give this a thumbs up. We really do appreciate it. It's one way in which you can support us in what we do. Another way you can support us is through our merchandise. There's a link to that in the description below this video. You can also support us by buying the book. You can. <laughs> Pre-orders again yes. on Amazon.com for the Epic Outdoor Griddle Cookbook by the Wall Twins. Super excited for that. 
aside from coming to knock out this banger, which I'm gonna go polish off yep, right now. Exactly. If Griffin doesn't finish it right now, <laughs> what else are we doing this? Because all we do is twin. No, no matter, matter what. what. And with that, we bid you adieu. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And grin along!